Hi. Um, I guess we're still in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Um, so before we get into who UCB Farmer are and what we're doing, where we come from, I just want to give a quick overview of how we got to UCB and sort of our background. So I'm a research scientist at UCB. I've worked there for around five years, and I came straight off my undergraduate degree, which involved a place, uh, an industrial placement at UCB. Um, generally, I work with our antibody discovery team. However, at UCB, they like to progress staff and include sort of qualifications in that. And half my time is split doing a PhD with uh, UCL as well. So, and half the time on sort of UCB projects and half the time on these PhD projects. Yeah, so I'm Amy Sortel. I'm also a research scientist. Um, I've been with UCB for about a year now. Um, and prior to UCB, I actually did my PhD after I did my undergrad and I did a postdoc for a year and a half, and now I've moved to industry, and I'm working at UCB now. So I'll just tell you a bit about um, who we are. So this is our scientific heritage. So we were founded in 1928 in Belgium. We're a Belgian company. And uh, in 72 is when they built our huge R&D site in Bren, which is just outside Brussels. So really a chemical group um, at the start. In the 90s, our brand Kepra was launched. So Kepra is an anti-epilepsy drug. Um, we also launched uh, Zyrtec, which is an antihistamine, so you might have heard of that one. Um, so in 2004, UCB moved into the UK. So they acquired Celtec, um, who were a huge biotech, really leading biotech company at the time. And it's in this period where we became more a biopharma. So initially, we were a chemical group making compounds. Um, but really, now we make, um, along with the compounds, which is more our Belgian site, um, in Slough, antibiotic technology and discovery is our real big uh, thing at the moment. So um, at UCB, we have this patient value strategy. So everything we do is with the patient in mind. Um, so an example of this is um, we are interested in treating um, patients with rheumatoid arthritis. So we looked at these patients and found um, that um, they have high levels of this cytokine TNF-alpha. So we developed an antibody to target TNF-alpha and we delivered this back to the patient. So this is our drug Simzia. Uh, it's a, a, a TNF-alpha therapeutic. So we're a global player. Um, we're present in 38 countries. Uh, there are 7,500 of us, and this just shows the spread of um, where we are. So quite a large amount of us are in Europe, um, but we're also in the US and in China. So we have two research centers. Uh, there's the Bren site in Belgium, and they're mainly, as I said, the chemistry, they make compounds. Um, but they also do a lot of neuroscience research, so anti-epileptics, Parkinson's. Uh, in Slough, which is where Dale and I are based, um, we're more immunology. Um, but there's also a lot of crosstalk between the two. Um, and we're mainly, yeah, we have the antibody technology, but there's a lot of crossover between the two sites. We have five development hubs, so in the US, Germany, Belgium. And then we have our manufacturing facilities, Belgium, China, Japan, Switzerland. So I'll let Dale take over. There you go. So as Amy mentioned, in uh, 2004, uh, UCB acquired Celtec. Um, this is mainly pretty much to acquire the sort of antibody technology that Celtec held at the time. Um, so just for a little bit of science in amongst these presentations, this is essentially a B-cell culture method where you take a B-cell expressing antibodies on the surface, culture them for a week with a feeder cell line, and they start to secrete antibody that you're able to then sample and profile in a, a range of assays. And this is essentially the point of the purchase of Celtic was to acquire this technology, amongst other things. This is the main point. So UCB has continued to invest heavily in this technology, and recently we invested multiple millions of pounds in a robotic work cell to help automate this process in a fashion that's a little bit less hands-on. So this is made up of three, three work cells, the first of which is a filling work cell, which you will see here, at which point the, the plates get removed from an incubator, filled up with the cells, the B cells, the feeder cells, and all the different growth supplements and media. These are then incubated for a week at 37 degrees, at which point they can then be sampled, because all the B cells have basically been secreting antibody into the supernatant. And at this point, you're able to do small, small binding assays based on sort of binding to beads with the target cell or cells expressing the target, and identify those wells with antibodies that you're really interested in having that may provide excellent properties as therapeutics. 
Following this, there's a third, there's a third work cell uh, shown here, where those positive supernames are picked off to take forward for further assays. So within, within UCB, these would be like sort of uh, affinity assays using SPR technologies, uh, cross-blocking assays, functional assays, and the B cells themselves are frozen down. This process really sort of is basically just an example, but sort of highlights UCB sort of pushing forward with different technologies. It'd been very easy to sit back and just maintain our platform as it was, but we invested heavily in this to move forward and keep ourselves at the cutting edge. So really what we want to do is we aim to bring sort of medicines to our specific subpopulations of patients. This sort of leads back to what we were discussing about keeping the patients in mind with everything we're doing. So here and here we're looking for groups of populations either showing specific clinical manifestations or via histology and imaging or via biomarker stratification of patients to ensure our antibody drugs or our small molecule drugs are getting to the right people at the right times to have the biggest effect on their lives and improve the quality of them. And again, this is just showing a snapshot of the sort of portfolio in, in, in clinical trials. And you can see these are a decent mix of sort of neurology targets here in blue, immunology targets in green. And again, a mix of small molecules, so small molecules and antibodies. Again, this is an antibody, antibody drugs. And showing us that we've got a real mix between our Belgian site and our, and our Slough site of who's developing what and who's adding what to the portfolio, giving a range of opportunities. So finally, I just want to flash up the sort of current vacancies at UCB and what these might mean if you were to go to the website. Um, anything that's sort of research associate level is basically graduate entry, so fresh from university, fresh from your undergraduate degree. And then with a PhD or limits on postdoc experience, that brings you into a research scientist, a senior scientist type level, and that's basically everything on here. And then as well as some other senior positions which go on further, which are probably not as relevant for this room, but again, are the sort of things that may be useful at UCB. Um, with that, we'll finish and take any questions. And we also have a stand, which I believe is stand number seven, and are doing individual one-on-one -on -one chats later in the afternoon. Thank you very much.